it going guys? Welcome back to Can You Game On It? Ever, every week the lighting changes, the setup changes, but you know what doesn't change? Me. Because I'm always gonna be me. So this week on Can You Game On It, we are gonna be reviewing... Ta-da! This is the ROG Phone 5. Granted, it came out a while back in Malaysia, but, 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 but... It just came out in Indonesia like yesterday and I'm really really excited to be talking about this phone. So without further ado, CK, do the intro. Okay guys, so let's talk a little bit about the phone specs. Snapdragon 888 processor, similar to the ASUS Zenfone 8. So we talked about the ASUS Zenfone 8 last week and we talked about how it was a mini ROG 5. This is the real deal, okay? Snapdragon 888 with 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage. So why is it different than a normal storage? It's a lot faster to load, a lot faster to keep things in there. That is why. Also, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 6.7 inch display. Whoa. Oh, so massive, almost seven actually. At what point, at what point does a phone turn from a smartphone to a phablet? Let me know. I haven't heard the word phablet in so long. Wait, wait, is phablet the word for it? It's phablet, right? Phone, phone tablet, phablet, that's the one, right? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is, I think. It's a very 2010 word, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I say it. At what point does it become that? Okay, let's move on. Now, speaking of the display, it comes with a 144 hertz display, which is what a lot of entry-level gamers want to use nowadays. 6,000 milliamps of battery capacity, as well as a triple rear camera setup. So definitely not the best camera setup in terms of cameras like flagships, but it's a gaming phone. We ain't care about all of that. Okay, so for this year's ROG 5 phone, we got like two really cool ones. They have a very futuristic, kind of cool, edgy looking design. They come in black as well as white. I am so into this color. So, so pretty. One of my favorite colors so far, but as you can see here, it, it is actually a fingerprint magnet. Okay, let's talk about the ports. So it does come with two Type-C ports. Yes, I said two. One on the bottom for charging right over here because the 3.5mm uh, headphone jack is on the side here. But if say that you're gaming, you're in the middle of a gaming match and you know how annoying it is having a charger on this side, you can actually charge it at the bottom of the phone here. You can take this little rubber thing off and voila, you can also charge it from here as well. So honestly, in terms of making it super comfortable and accessible, for gamers, this phone is absolutely 10 out of 10. And I'm really, really convinced there's no other phone in the market that can rival this so far. Also guys, just to add on a little bit here, this phone does come with accessories, which we did not get to review. It actually feels like a Nintendo Switch when you have the Kunai controller on, by the way, just saying. And if the phone gets too hot, there is also the Aero Active cooler as well, which is super cool. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the performance now. Before we hop into the games, I just want to say, battery-wise, this phone, despite it going on highest brightness as well as 144 hertz display, or PUBG Mobile, an hour of gaming on this only drained around 20 plus battery. 20 plus only! That's redonkulous! That's so good! This phone can last quite a while if you think about it. Okay, so let's talk about the games. First game we tried out, PUBG Mobile. You can actually run Ultra HD audio as well as video on this on the highest FPS with absolutely no lags and no stutters. It's honestly one of the best phones I've ever used in terms of audio because of the dual uh, speakers over here. Its surround sound makes it so great for shooter games and it's really, really loud as well. Honestly, really good. If I want to compare this to the uh, Asus Zenfone 8, this is definitely better in terms of audio. I wouldn't say that you don't need headphones to play shooters, but I wouldn't say it's a requirement. By the way, playing PUBG Mobile on this made the phone warm. That was it. Nothing too crazy. All right, let's move on into Wild Rift. Okay, this is my excited bit to be talking about Wild Rift on this because this is one of the phones in the market. There's rarely any that supports this, which is the 120 hertz refresh rate support. So I know that the Asus Zenfone 8 also came with 120 hertz display, uh, 120 hertz refresh rate. But the thing is, when I tried to turn it on on Wild Rift, it actually didn't have the option. It was just not supported. But when I checked on this, you actually can. You can go 90 or 120 with no problem. And the thing is, despite the high refresh rate, you can also go high graphics. You can actually choose to go for ultra graphics instead of highest. But I was a little bit scared because there was a warning that says that the game might crash. So I was like, eh, 
Okay. I mean, if you guys are brave enough, do try it and let me know how it goes. And by the way, playing Wilder from this, mwah, chef keys, very smooth. Like, but you know what? I'm, I'm certain that I need to stop talking. I'm gonna need to stop talking about BTS butter. Let's, let's, let's talk about something else that's smooth. Like, like a watermelon. Smooth like a watermelon. Smooth like... Okay, moving on to Asphalt 9, one of the heavier games on here. Unfortunately, this game only has 60 FPS, but it's fine. It's no big deal. Super smooth, no lags and stutters. It was warm. But the best thing about playing Asphalt, I've told you this since last week, is that the roar of the cars and just the audio, the, the soundtrack, just two good things. Think of you just like racing through the countryside with music roaring through your ears just getting adrenaline rush that's exactly how it's supposed to feel and that's how it felt like playing asphalt line on this phone such i just really like the audio on this i cannot say enough how great the audio is on this phone also guys graphics on this stunning play at a high performance 100 percent Okay guys, so another game that supports 120Hz refresh rate is definitely Injustice 2. No lags or stutters, you know, some foes actually have a problem with this game because it's a little bit more on a heavy side and the graphics are a little bit more intensive, but not for this phone. Also, another thing I really liked about this is definitely the great reaction time you get because it has a 300Hz touch sampling rate, which means that when you press, almost immediately you're gonna get a response to the screen. And I feel like some phones, I have to like kind of like spam it a little bit more to get like timing for Batman to kick. Like, Batman, can you just god dang kick? Not for this phone. Batman and I are best friends on this phone, 100%. Okay, now let's move on to Genshin Impact. So, one thing I can say is, jumping into the game, default mid graphics, 30 FPS. So god dang smooth, I love it. Was a little bit more on the warmer side when you play, but not a big deal to me. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna kick it to 60 FPS. No! Don't do it! Do not do that. I've talked about this so many times. Do not kick up Genshin Impact to 60 FPS when you play on a phone. Because it gets really, really hot. You're gonna want to get the cooler. You know what? Even if you don't play 60 FPS, just get a god dang the arrow active cooler and get it. Because the thing is, a lot of games are gonna be more on the warmer side. If you're gonna play for a long period of time, get a god dang cooler, okay? And the thing about this phone is, oh yes, big graphics. So immersive to play Genshin Impact on. It's such a good time. And honestly, I wish I had the ROG Kunai controller to play the game with it because it, it will feel like a Nintendo Switch. But it's not gonna happen anytime soon. So the closest thing that can be to it would be getting the Kunai controller. Please, ROG, I am begging you. Give me a controller to play this game. I just want to play more Genshin. Okay, guys, so... That's what I thought of the ROG Phone 5. Definitely worth getting. So the question of the day is, can you game on the ROG Phone 5? Absolutely, freaking lutely Love it. Love the color. Love the design. Love how strong it is. Also, you know what else is there to love? When you turn on your phone and you turn on the camera and there's like some kind of AR thing on the box, which is so cool. And uh, I know I'm supposed to be giving this phone to Adrian. I said, you know what? I have so many nice things or I'm going to give this phone to Adrian. But you know what? Maybe, maybe I won't. I know you're here, CK. But please don't tell Adrian. You're supposed to be my partner in crime, not my partner in snitching. I see what you're doing there, sir. I know where you live. I, Peace out. I don't associate. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't associate. <laughs> okay. All right. I think that's it.